This just in. Brand new. I wish I had a megaphone for that announcement. Let's try this. Machine just got a brand new update. Overall, not a very exciting one, but with one really nice tidbit. A new synthesizer. A new synthesizer. It's called Polysynth. The Polysynth. And in this video, we're gonna have a first look at it. But first, if you're new here and you're interested in machine related videos, be making content, make sure to hit subscribe. Make sure to hit subscribe to stay up to date with all the cool new machine features, sound expansions, as well as workflow tips, inspiration, all the good stuff. I right, thanks for subscribing. Let's dive in. So what is the polysynth? Yo, what is up everyone? Dive in here and let's have a look at the new polysynth. It's one of those no UI, just sound, sound design tools, like the drum synth, the bass synth, that you'll find within your FX browser, not the regular one with all the instruments and stuff like that. So not among the usual instruments browser. But looking at the vision that NI has with it, I think this is really, really cool. From what I noticed looking at the CPU of my Machina Plus, this is a super low key, low energy, CPU friendly type of instrument. No messing around, just a straightforward two oscillator synth. But man, the things you can do. And the best thing, it's free for everyone. You just need to go and update your Machina software or your firmware for the Machina Plus. Yeah, it runs on the Machina Plus standalone too. So let's start with the UI. First thing you notice when opening up the polysynth is it just sounds great from the get-go. So even if you're pretty much like me, don't know a whole lot about synthesizers, you can just use it as it comes out of the box and it'll sound super good. So we'll open it up by pressing the plus symbol here by pushing the 3D encoder or alternatively shift and browser. Once again, you'll find it in your FX browser, not your regular browser. So the shift plugin browser. And there you'll find a list of stuff. Check out my drum synth video if you haven't already. Down below you can load the polysynth. Let's do that. First thing I noticed, very interesting choice, they've put the filter option on the very first page. So you can use the sound as it is and just play with the filter. So that's really cool and something that doesn't really need a lot of synth expertise. On the next page, we've got the ADSR options. So there we can get like a softer start. We can also give it a little bit more release time. And finally, we come to the sound design part of the synth. Page three, we can mix our two oscillators. Right now we only have oscillator A. We can also mix in oscillator B. Add a little bit of detune. Nice, I like that. On page four, we can fine tune our oscillator A. For example, tune it up one octave same goes for page five, fine tune oscillator B. And really cool choice, we can also not use the saw shape and use a triangle instead. And we can get cool things like this type of sound. After that, we've got the option to edit the LFO. So like change the modulation of the sound. Check this out. Oof. So lo-fi. So lo-fi. So lo-fi. And on the last page, we've got the option to change the overall tune. And of course, change the pitch band and you know, these kinds of global settings. So that was a really quick run through with the options of the synth. Now this all pretty much sounded very similar, but wait till we get to the presets. I already filmed a video showing you guys my favorite presets. Yep, I went through all the presets and selected the vibiest of them all. And I'll serve them to you on a silver platter. Now all you need to do is to hit subscribe, <laughs> ring the bells, so that you 
don't miss out on that. I was shocked how much sonic variety you can get out of this cool synthesizer. Silver platter, I mean, come on. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, have an excellent day. Peace.